Greetings, humans and non-humans. I have returned from my basement travels, and I'm here to talk about the new uh Summer of Isaac cards, but the Alt Art Booster Pack. Um uh, so those aren't aware, uh, 2024 we have the Summer of Isaac um, expansions, or it's just we'll, we'll, we'll call it an expansion, even though they're they're three separate packs. Uh, the first being the Edmund uh, McMillan themed uh, card pack, which was based on Mr. McMillan's other games besides Isaac, which were really cool. And now we have Alt Art Booster Pack. Now, at first, I wasn't too excited for these, because it's like, well, it's nothing super new, you know, but, but yeah, I, I'm gonna say, like, if you, if you want, like a, like, a review of, like, you know, should you buy it or not, yeah, you should buy it. It's, like, an easy <laughs> um, decision right here, and, um, yeah, let's go over these cards. Um, so, the first card we have, ooh, sorry, got <laughs> the wrong teleportation magic, my bad. Uh, the first card we have is Rainmaker, and let me whip out the artist's name. Rainmaker was made by... <sighs> Devana? Um, <laughs> I think that's how you say it. At D4, V3, 4, and then 4. Um, they did a plushie of... Uh, of Rainmaker, and you know, they used it for the alt art, and it looks pretty groovy. Um, I don't know, like, the highlights will have to be the artwork of this pack. I mean, I know it's called the alt art pack, but like, <laughs> um, I think that the, this, this whole pack is just full of bangers. Um, these are all very groovy looking cards. Um, but if you're like me, who's you know, wants to know about the gameplay purposes, um, um you know, let's see how this one does. Look, I may reread this, it's been a while. Um, three, four, zero stats. This has plus one attack for each curse that player controls. Okay, so that's never gonna happen. <laughs> um, when an attack is declared as reveal cards from the top monster deck till a curse is gained. You know, a curse card, reveal curse card, gain it, put the rest of the bottom of the deck in random order. Okay, most likely you're gonna have like one um, a curse, but like, I feel like Oh, wait, no, it's my attack is declared. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I kind of see the gimmick. Um, it's unique. I'll give it that. Um, but <laughs> not gonna lie, this seems like a pretty um, easy soul to get, so I don't mind that. <laughs> Next up, we got Dogma. Artwork was done by. I'm Butter, otherwise known as um, at Serbri Plus. Oh yeah, I forgot. I probably should mention these are all from X. You know, um, <laughs> we used to have Twitter, you know, but now it's X. So I'm doing like a real life X cross in real life, but you, you can't see that because my rig isn't that cool in advance. But 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 just imagine, you know, just just, just put an X. There, there you go. Um. So yeah, Play-Doh Dogma was made by at Cerberi Plus, or their username is I'm Butter. Um, stats is 444. Um, okay. Each time a player rolls a 1, put each other monster discard. When this dies, the active player puts an eternal counter on an item. Eternal counters give the player. Yo! Okay, that's really cool. Um, strange that we got another story boss that's not a boss, but just a normal monster, but. I don't think that even matters. Um, that, that's a really cool. But I, yeah, that's a, that's worthy of a soul. But I mean, yeah, I've never seen people online classifying this card as a boss card, you know, because like it's it's not. Um, I, I think I made a video about this. <laughs> you know. Um, uh, okay. Next up, we got War. Um, artwork was done by Pitch Kanker, and their at is at Pitch Kanker. Okay, I, I like it when it's as simple as that. Um, they did artwork for war. Their stats are four, three, two. Each time, oh, I guess I should probably mention that uh, Rainmaker gives you ten cents, which is an easy soul, so I don't mind. I mean, that's a treasure. It's basically you can buy a treasure with that. Um, and then Dogma gives you plus one treasure. Okay. War, however, gives you nine cents and the the one soul. The ability is at the start of each turn, put a counter attack counter on a monster chosen random. 
counters, uh, the attack counters give the ability of this has plus one. So, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm liking these counter abilities. They're very groovy. Um, artwork is pretty groovy. I, I love it. Next up, we got Headless Horseman. And oh, by the way, I'm doing the card reveals in order of them being reveal. I was going to do it like uh, just on how the Four Souls website did it, but like. <laughs> It, currently, the Forces website does not have the artist, um, you know, and I didn't want to have them all confused, so I decided to go by order because I have all the tabs right here, and, the, uh, you know, I just... Don't, don't question my method, okay. <laughs> uh, we got Headless Horseman that was done by Rodar, and their at is at Rodornet. Huh. Um... Artwork is pretty cool. Um, it looks. Um, I like how the you can see the little shadowings of like the art that's like outside the paper, you know, and it's like on top of the paper. It's it's pretty cool detail. Stats are two, three, one. Um, drops a treasure and a soul. If this would die, except on an attack roll six, prevent death. This heals to full hearts and gains plus one dice, plus one. Attack till end of turn, and active player gains its rewards. P pretty cool, pretty groovy. Uh, next up we got Widow, so I hope you're not scared of um, eyes. Um, I think that's a thing, right? That's That has to be a fear. Um, that was done by... Oh my goodness, I apologize in advance. Thiago... Lenman... Segre... Oh my goodness. Thiago Lahamen. And their at is at Lamentego. I'm sorry, sorry if I got your name wrong. <laughs> I apologize. Um their their art is very cool. Like it surrounds the paper and stuff. Uh, like I said, I kinda love it when the when uh cards do that. So this is Widow. Stats is 351. Um at the start of each turn, put a spider counter on an attack uh, on a character chosen at random. Then the active player rolls each spider counter on their character. 1-3, take 1 damage. Each time a player has removed um, a spider counter from this. I really love this, um, giving characters new abilities. Granted, this is just removing counters. Uh, I, I like that a lot. Um, yeah, overall, I, I, I don't know, I'm loving it. I just noticed the theme of counters. I'm, I'm liking that a lot. I know, like, like some people might be arguing, oh, this is, a, you know, Advanced Four Souls. You know, I don't like it. Ooh. But, but come on, man. Advanced Four Souls is fun. <laughs> um, it's not too advanced. I think most um, card novelist um, players will understand how to play these. Um, next up, we got Hoarder. Hoarder was done by... Bogman, and their act is Bogman Art. Um, I really like the artwork. But, 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 okay, this is maybe like the hot take right here. I don't like that we're getting alt characters, but like no corresponding items to go with them. Like, I don't know about you, but like in my Four Souls um, box, I just have the alt art characters besides Bumbo and Eden's. Um, cause there is an alt art Bumbo who has an alt art item to go alongside the, the, the alt artwork. And Eden's, well, Eden's don't need items, so they're just in there. But the other alt art cards, they're just put aside. Like, they're in my box, like, <laughs> one of the extra compartments. It's, it's, they're not, never part of shuffle play. I mean, I guess you could be like, oh, you got this character, do you want to play as their alt art version? But that's too much of a hassle for me, so, like... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, 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 uh, I, the art's cool. I, I just wish we had an item to go with it. That's my only critique. Uh, next up we got is Conquest by Witness the Absurd, and their at is at Person Faces. Uh, this is so cool. Like. Uh, like, there's some artwork here that I would love just to have this plastered on a t-shirt or a poster, and this is one of them right here, you know? Like, like this is awesome looking artwork. Uh, stats are 3-3-1. Three, three, when this dies, the active player must make an additional attack against another player. They have 4 dice plus, uh, 4 plus dice for the attack. 7 and 1. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean... This may be another hot take. I actually 
do like fighting other players in Four Souls. Like, I don't know, I'm, I don't, I'm tired of these people like, oh, Dweller, we like playing Four Souls the fun and friendly way, you know? I'm like, no, 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 no. This is a game where we're gonna betray each other, you know? It's gonna be a smackdown, it's gonna be beatdowns, betrayals, you know? I, I want fisticuffs, we, we're, we're, we're using bombs, we're using tears, we're using whatever items we can to, to try to win the game, you know? Like, there's no little happy, you know, um, Four Souls sessions, like, <laughs> happy Four Souls. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> It's not a thing, right, guys? <laughs> uh, okay, but like, um, I'm fine with like cards that make players fight each other. Um, there, there's not too many of them, cause like, I think like it just started with like, um, repentance, not repentance, requiem, requiem. So it's not even like there's like a lot of cards that do this. So I, I don't mind this. Um, yeah. Next up, we got conjoined fatty. Um, that was done by Rich Werner, um, at Rich underscore Werner, you know, the original Plants vs. Zombies artist, um, that, I don't, I was, that was, this might be the highlight for me, um, I, I, you know, grew up playing Plants vs. Zombies, you know, um, and, like, the, you can tell it's the, it's the, it's the person, you know, because of how they draw the teeth right here, um, stats is 3-3-1, three, three, each time a player plays a loot card, they may put... Uh, they have to put a counter on this. I'm not sure why it was about to say may, but no, you put a counter. Each time this would take damage, while it has counters on it, prevent it, remove a counter from this, and the active player loots one. And loot three. Hmm. I like it. Yep. Mm hmm Next up, we got Krompus. And, um, he doesn't... Ha Wait, I just realized that, um... I was like, oh, he has like the like a, like a foggy background because like if, uh, if that's not know where original Crumps is a weird foggy background, but this this, this one doesn't have it. it has a snowy a woods background, so um, that's that's cool. Now let's see, um, Crumpus was done by Omega Black Art. Oh, whoa, that's so cool! I, I follow them on X. So that's cool. Um, uh, yeah, um, at Omega Black Art. That's 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 their thing. I, I mean, I don't know if I could say their username. Their username is white block, white block, white block, white block, star, white block, white block, white block, white block, black. Oh, maybe it's a white square. Yeah, white square, white square, white square, white square, star, white square, white square, white square. Oh, just just gonna go mega black art. I don't know why I'm attempted at reading the their username, but um, yeah, Krumpus right here. Um, it looks super cool. I love the additions of the eyes and the wings. You know, that's very cool and groovy. Um, tongues like you know pass the paper uh, that's awesome um, at the start of each turn each player votes naughty or nice if naughty wins the active player must attack this this turn each time the act the attacking player rolls the same attack roll twice in a row the same turn this deals one damage to each other monster um I, I like the card I guess my complaint might be that this might be a moment where I, I might be a bit small brain right here. Oh wait, it's not even the right words. There we go. Um, <laughs> where, um, I know reading the card explains the card, but I can already tell that I'm going to have like some um, confusion amongst my table already. Um, uh, why do I have to read everything on my table? Okay, uh, next up we got... The Miser. Oh man, okay, so... Um, the Miser was done by Billion Boy, and their at is at Billion Boy One. I was so hyped when one day Mr. McMillan was like, "Yo, Billion Boy, check your DMs." I was like, <gasps> "Like, is it what I think it is? They're gonna be in an ult." Like, my first instance is like, "Oh yeah," because like my mind's four souls twenty four seven. So I was like, "Yo, it's gonna be four souls time." Um, and then just to find out, instead of having like an item or like or a monster, uh, they they did uh, just a character alt, which means I'm probably never gonna see this card in play, which makes me a bit sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's a travesty for me. If you don't know, Billion Boy is the individual that does the cool um, 3D items. Now they're doing 3D trinkets as of the recording. Um, yeah, they moved on to the to, to trinkets now. Um, if you follow them on X, um, you, you'll see them all the time um, in the ISA community. Um, pretty groovy individual. Um, next up, we have Hush. 
Um, and Hush's artwork was done by... Zalz. And their at is at ZalzNG. I'm, I'm guessing they got NG sounds for Newgrounds, I, I don't know. <laughs> So Hush has a mega boss. Um, yes, guys, I, I, I still say mega bosses. Uh, a mega boss of six one one stats. Damage to take is reduced to one, so you can't use an item to just do more than one damage to it. Um, if an attack roll made against this is less than or equal to the last attack roll made against this, the roll counts as a miss. And plus two treasure. So I guess it's like incorporating like the blood hell aspect or um hmm cool i mean the artwork's pretty awesome um uh, I, I don't know i, I want to say oh this is my favorite artwork but i just realized that a lot of cards are my favorite artwork so um, I, I don't think i could do a, a proper ranking of artworks like maybe I, I, I consider doing a video of just doing ranking every single alt art on four souls card but that's a pretty long lengthy video to do next up we got gemini Gemini's artwork was done by Eduardo Valdez Hivia. Or their at is Valdia underscore art. I hope I said their name right. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like how you say their name, but um, I could be wrong. Um, so, the Gemini right here, a lovely art. Um, I like how the little, t it's in a test tube, and, um, I, I guess the only weird part is that the little guy, um, that Gemini's attached to, instead of being an umbilical cord, it looks more like a tail, but, um, I mean, it still looks pretty cool, though, um, <laughs> so, um, stats are 3, 4, 1, when this reaches, pl um, 1 HP, put a HP counter on a monster chosen at random, then put a... Attack counter a monster chosen random. So there's a chance Gemini could get the buff, but also a chance another monster could get the buff. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, and the counters stay there. They don't say remove counters and then turn anything like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, next up we have Adversary. Not the Adversary, Adversary. Okay. Um, adversaries abilities um, stats are oh, 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 oh hold up I'm almost like skipped out of the important part you know this is the alt art pack you know I should, I should mention the artist for this one um Krumpus looking for work and their at is at Krumpus party strange though they didn't do Krumpus you, you would think they would do Krumpus but I, I guess they didn't oh so, so sorry um, the medicans I think they call him Krampus or something like that Krampus. I don't know. It sounds like he got a cramp. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds weird, but okay. We'll, we'll say it for, um, I guess most people say it that way. Uh, anyways, stats are 5, 3, 1. Uh, the start of, uh, start of each turn, each player chooses a different number between 1 and 6 in turn order. So on a turn, each time a player is chosen, the number rolled, they take 1 damage. And plus 1 to treasure, and plus 1 soul. I remember, um, <laughs> I, uh, I was talking about this in the, one of the Forces Discord servers, and I thought, legit thought, <laughs> like, like, oh, uh, <laughs> I read the, the whole thing differently, but, uh, yeah, yeah, so, other players could potentially get attacked, you know, um, but if you're playing with, like, seven players, player number seven, like, whoever the last player is, they don't take, they're, they're safe from, from this card, which, I find that a little bit funny, but granted, I'm not sure who would be the mad lad that plays, um, that that many four souls pl players i don't know i want to do a tournament maybe one day the most absurd tournament of like like it would be salt the longest game of four souls history where every single playable card not counting alt art characters are just like in one play group session and uh, whoever wins four souls i don't know wins a thousand dollars or something like that um weird video idea but <laughs> yeah it's something i always want to try but this card right here, for instance, would um, <laughs> well, only work for the first um, six players right here, so that's it's um, that's cool. I really love the the pixel artwork right here. Um, I, I wouldn't mind if this artist returns to do other promo cards, or just, just yeah, just, that would be really cool. Um, uh, next up we got the bloat. I can't escape the bloat. Like I don't know, man. Like. I don't know, like, 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 I guess it's a bit of a weird story, but, like, 
Maestro Mania just randomly sent me like a, a bloat card. I don't know the context of um, the reasoning. Um, I mean, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, um, I, that was weird. I don't know if I was supposed to get the card at some point. They just, I just randomly got a, a bloat card in the mail. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, um, I just had a, a game where I lost my progress all to a bloat, and, um... <laughs> okay, okay, let's not fault the, the, the card's existence, uh, for, for my, um, uh, anger. Um, bloat was done by... Zothrogood, and at Zothrogood. They were doing some pretty cool, um, custom bloat figures, which... Supposedly, they're selling them at San Diego Comic-Con this year. Um, so yeah, if you want to get a statue of, of the, these things, you know, figure thingies. And they go with custom boxes, too, uh, so they're pretty cool. Um, you could go do that. Um, the the card-wise, uh, that's, that's really what it's about. It's a 4-4-2 four, 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 stat monster. Each time a monster dies, this deals 1 damage to other monster, each other monster and each player. Pretty standard bloat stuff, honestly. We could rename the game to the buying of um, bloat for bloats. Like, at this point, like, there's more bloat cards than uh, Isaac. There's only Isaac, Isaac Boss, and then, like, a few other cards that reference Isaac, but, uh, yeah. Lastly, we have Mother. 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 Or. Okay, it has an exclamation mark, so you have to shout the name, so, like, I don't know. Um, we got another Mega Boss right here, and... Oh, boy. Before we do anything, let's quickly read, uh, the artist. This was done by Enoch, and their act is at Odd Oblivion. Um, this is super cool, like... I would have well, want this to be a t-shirt, honestly. This, this looks very, um, very groovy. Very, very, um, metal, I guess, what the youngins like to say, or the oldins. Um, I don't know the, 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 the lingo around here. Um, I study humans, you know, um, that doesn't mean I understand humans. Um, so, the stats are 8, 1, 2. Before each attack roll against this is rolled the the oh my goodness sorry oh. let me get my, my reading glasses on okay before each attack roll against this is rolled the players to the active players left and right each choose a number between one and six if the next attack roll is one of those numbers it counts as a miss loot four plus two souls pretty cool mega boss i like it yeah and that has been the alt art booster pack cards. Um, just wanted to uh, go over it, you know, because surprisingly the Edmund alt booster pack video, not the, the alt, the Edmund booster pack video did surprisingly well. So like, yeah, I guess people might be interested about, you know, looking at the new cards. Um, so there's no like secret, you know, like proto print out there, you know, oh, I'm sorry. Maestro Media actually, uh, <laughs> and the people working on the, the cards, um, the, the, um, they're making it, they are making a definitive print. You know, there's no secret of uh, misprints or old prints or nothing like that. So uh, that's pretty good um, to hear. Uh, overall, I, I, my thoughts are, if you play Four Souls, these are an easy um, addition that you want to acquire as quickly as possible. Because I believe it will spice up your games in pretty cool ways. Um, and and yeah, I don't think even the artworks for these alt arts like, like will break your immersion that badly compared to other alts. So I, I think it's overall, this might be like well, probably the best alt art cards we have at the moment. Um, yeah, I, I've been the Basin Dweller. Um, take care everybody, have yourself a groovy day and you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do the next four souls better, you know? Uh, see ya.